You know, it's <laughs> like it's like um, what do you call it? Like Alice in the Wonderland. You know, like a very merry on birthday kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's it's like the tea party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you like tea parties, Phoenix Prime? Is that what you like? Uh, I don't like tea that much. Tea, I think tea is like it's nice and person? all, but like it's it's no, not even like I'm more of a soda kind of guy. But like tea is okay, but I feel like tea gives you has like more caffeine in it. You know, like people don't realize like green tea and black tea have like a ton more caffeine mm. than normal soda does. Like uh, you know, so yeah. yeah, yeah, like but yeah. Case, yeah. yeah. I, I drink water though. normally too. So yeah, drink a bit of water now and again. Yeah. Oh In yeah. Case, I have to when you do case. streams and stuff, man. <laughs> yep. Case likes being white. bottle right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Talks with Hawks, baby. I'm here with my beautiful co-host, NWKs. And today, I, uh... our, our guest is Phoenix Prime. Do you want me to call you Phoenix Prime 1 or just Phoenix Prime? You can just call you Prime or anything like yeah, that. Phoenix Prime, do you want to tell the people stuff. at home who you are? Who <laughs> are you? Who am I? Um, I don't know, just your average everyday VR chat streamer plus variety streamer when it comes to it, you know? So. <laughs> what I want to know where that name comes from, Phoenix Prime. I see, like, Phoenix um, it's kind of like a new, like, online identity I wanted to do. Like, I've had, like, stupid names ever, like, for a long time online, like, things like Sniper Hunter and Dr. Evil and nice. all that stuff. When I started, I, I, I played a lot of more FPS games, so I figured I needed a name that was a little more accessible, a little more fun i guess in that sense so phoenix is kind of like a, a rising of a of a new persona new character okay. prime being like the, the biggest example of that so like the best best part best best of both worlds kind of thing so what do you think about like his it's kind of mud still <laughs> <laughs> we are in the beautiful virtual world of vr chat right now so oh, yes. <laughs> how did you how did you come to be part of this domain what was your first time of VR? Um, <laughs> so I, um, for a while, I really was just playing on just normal like battle royale games for a while, and um, happened upon YouTube um, of um, Next Twenty One, who was doing VR chat content at the time, and uh, I ran into his videos, and I was really intrigued by this whole new thing of like virtual reality, like being a big thing, and I was like, oh, this is really cool, you know, you get to go to those beautiful worlds you don't get to ever be in, and kind of stuff, right? So yeah. I said. You know, hey, I should give this a try. You know, I hopped out of my laptop at the time, just playing. You know, as no no hands, no body, or anything like that, just doing standard uh, desktop mode. And uh, from there, I was like, I gotta get VR. This is driving me crazy. I have to try this out. You know, and then um, bounced between a couple of friends groups here and there, and then I hooked up with an awesome group of guys that we just hung out and met all these amazing streamers and stuff. And people were like, hey, you should pop on and uh, you should stream and stuff. And I was like, ah, dope, I'll do that, you know? Oh, yeah. So I was like, cause they're like, oh, you're funny and stuff. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So I started streaming and here I am. <laughs> it's the most embarrassing moment you've ever experienced in your life. Oh God, <laughs> I think one of the most recent ones is um, I was playing VR, I was streaming and uh, I got really, really tired. And so I went to sit down like this and I was like, kind of like in my chair about to pass out. And like, I think I passed out for maybe like a couple minutes and then everyone in the world I was in was coming up to me and being like, was like poking me and like sticking their panties in my face. And I was like, oh, oh I'm, up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. And I was like, oh God. I was getting looted. looted. Yeah, what I was getting all looted. Yo, okay, <laughs> okay, so what, do, what do you think about looting? I love it, oh, personally. Yeah. I think I think in the right context, it's fun. It's it could be a lot of fun, if, especially with friends, you know. Okay, so it's, uh, it could be pretty fun, but you just gotta know when it's you know, good or not, you know. You have ERP, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, his brain is like <laughs> right at the moment. What about you, Phoenix? <laughs> yeah, 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 ERP. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty Oh my god, the guy was like, the guy was like, it was like a normal quote, it was like, oh yeah, yeah, baby, I'll yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just the weirdest fetishes you can come up to. Stuff in this game is like, just, it's just like the minimum bar bottom of the barrel, like, oh, just the standard weird stuff you normally see, so I'm pretty used to that kind of stuff. Where's he going? He just walked off, it's fine. What is he, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> he just can't deal with it. <laughs> 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 oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Who is Phoenix Prime outside of VR chat? What do you like to do? Um, I, I, mean, I like going to the movies. I've been a pretty big movie buff for a long time. I'm pretty big in the film, like the Godzilla films and things like that. I originally went to college for, um, for video editing, 
But at the time, video editing back in like the early 2000s was like kind of not a thing, you know? Like YouTube huh. was just kind of starting out and everything, right? right? right so right. I wanted to become a video editor because I like doing like anime music videos and all that kind of stuff on YouTube, right? And then YouTube cut down on, the, on their copyright like really you know, harshly back then and everyone just got, you know, banned, you know? Yep, yep. So after that, I switched my degree to history and got really big into researching history and, and learning all about what I could about history from European and American history. And um, now I work in uh, the construction testing industry. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When we do. So you say history. Do you learn about Egypt? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I learn a little bit about yeah, everything. Yeah, I'm like more into some more European, oh, American you history. Yeah, you like the pyramids? Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. Case has a question about you about the pyramids, by the way. Here's a question about the pyramids. Oh, God. No, no, no. Here we go. Go on, Kays. Go on. Do you like... Do you believe that aliens built the pyramids? <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> aliens. <laughs> you know, I have, I have some interesting theories about, like, about aliens and stuff in our universe. Like, you know, because you don't think about it, but, like, what if, like, there are aliens, right? And we end up, like getting you know fast and light travel kind of stuff right like if we if we get that technology and going what if we go out there and find that like there are actually civilizations that did exist and we show up at the wrong time right like obviously because the time dilation going from the earth to across the universe that's like millions of years of time right so we're going from now to then and it's like there's no one there anymore right so like there could be aliens right now but they're like ahead of us millions and millions of years from now you know so it's like <laughs> you never know. Um, so, oh, I got you. Phoenix Prime, is there anything that the people at home don't know about you that you could tell us today? Any random fact or random trivia? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good one. Yeah, I, I fell off a roof and survived. That was fun. <laughs> oh. oh, right. Oh. Yeah, I, sli I, I slipped off a, bro a roof at work and, um, and landed on my butt and somehow didn't get hurt. <laughs> that huh. was... That was an interesting one. Yeah. 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 In our company, we had another guy who had gotten hired before I was started there and who had fallen off a roof and, and actually broke his tailbone and off the roof. And it was his first and last day of the job. <laughs> you know? So I got very lucky in my situation. <laughs> oh, so. yeah. yeah. You could do anything in the world right now. Like, you're not, you're not stopped by not having the right amount of money, right, right amount of fame, whatever. Mm -hmm. You can do anything. What would you right. choose to do? Oh man, I'd love, I'd really like to travel. I'd like to go to some pl interesting places. I want to go to like Poland. I want to go to the Seychelles Islands. I want to go to so many just different places in the world and experience just life outside of where I am in the U.S. You know, I've, I've been to most corners of the U.S. and it's interesting and stuff. But I want to see like the the old ancient world like it used to be. You know, like all those old ancient sites and stuff and experience peoples that I haven't gotten to inter interact with ever. You know, that would be the most uh, the coolest thing I think. If I had the time and money and everything, yeah, I would live stream it too. It'd be awesome. I could like go there and be like, hey, check out this stuff, guys. Like in the middle of nowhere, you know, <laughs> that'd be great. Um, so I feel like <laughs> she was like, and while we're throwing food at each other, shit. What is the meaning of life? Oh man, that's that's a difficult question. That's that's a loaded question, there, buddy. Um. You know, I think it, it is it is what you make it, you know, like what you really want to do in your life. You know, you want to, you know, setting a goal and doing it. I think just the purpose of it is just experiencing life itself, just going around and meeting people and meeting just nature and going around and, and exploring our world and trying to understand it. You know, I think it's a, a very... Uh, a very noble goal to do, but I think it's something every people, every person should try and do, you know, is to experience the world. And I think it's the ultimate meaning of it, you know, finding your own meaning, really. You witness a crime. Mm-hmm. Right? And it's a man, he's stolen a lot of money from the bank, and he gets away with right. it. Right. You right. then further find out that he's actually give this money to an orphanage, mm -hmm. to children with need. These children are really right. poor, they're really hungry, right? Right. But he's also stolen the money. You know, he's stolen in the front of you. He's committed a crime. Right. Do you right. let it go and let the kids keep it? Let the let the kids, you know. But, mm. but let this guy. This guy's clearly a criminal. He's stolen. Or right. Do you tell the authorities and they go and get the money back? Hmm. Well, is this take? Is this take place in the in the U.S. or just anywhere in the world? Anywhere or in the world. Uh, just, just, so there's, there's a lot of factors. Purely theoretic, oh, theoretical. It's... 
It's hard. Only, it's based, hard to t- based on the information I just told you. No information added. Mm, no other. Okay. So it's it's difficult because if if you were to say that you know someone's stealing money, like obviously that's people's money, right? Like, but the thing is too is that a lot of banks don't actually carry normal people's just money, physical money around. So really, yeah, that's not yeah, really the people's yeah. money. That's more of the bank's money, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, they have fresh and there's a lot of day. factors in thinking about it, but. If it's a victimless crime, let's say they don't they don't hurt anybody or anything like that, they just rob the bank, right? Like just sneak off with it, then you know it's if they're doing something good with it, you know, maybe. But it, it's it's kind of those moral gray area, you know. It's it's like you want to say yes, but technically it's a crime, so they should get punished for it. But honestly, if it was a if it was to be punished for it, I'd say you know get, give them some community service or something, you know. Don't like throw them in jail for years just because he took some some big corporation's money you know it's just it's just money it's not like someone's life you know someone's life is far more important than just physical currency you know so (laughs) oh yeah well that's that's a pretty good answer well yeah with that being said thank you guys for watching this episode (laughs) of talks is hawks i've been here this has been phoenix prime my co-host nwk's both of these guys you catch the links in the description nwk's catch him on Twitter and Twitch and etc. And Phoenix Prime, make sure you guys oh, follow. Good fo- stuff. Yeah, follow this guy on Twitch on Twitter. Make sure you hit that bell. We can see him go live whenever he goes live on Twitch, baby. Um, and I've been horses <laughs> ripping. Smash that like button. Fuck it, yeah, smash that like button, baby. You subscribe to horses ripping channel, baby. We just hit fifty k actually. This is the first video hell that yeah, I've recorded brother. after fifty k. It dude, might not so be uploaded at fifty k, yeah. but hell yeah, dude. So we're celebrating. Yeah, dude, good stuff. Come over here. <laughs> Oh, he's getting them smooches. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a drink and I'm out of here. See you now.